The movie starts with Beth arriving in Croatia for a weekend getaway to reunite with her best friend, Kate. As she hops into a taxi arranged by her friend, Beth encounters Zane, the friendly driver. After safely reaching her destination, Zane generously offers his contact information in case she requires help during her stay. Following this, Kate warmly welcomes Beth to her rented Airbnb, and Beth thanks her for sponsoring the vacation. However, Kate discloses that she's still using her ex-husband Jay's credit card to pay for everything without his knowledge. Then Beth gifts her a black necklace with a few loose beads, which Kate excitedly wears. That evening, while getting ready, Beth FaceTimes her husband and their new baby who's in London. Shortly after that, Kate and Beth head outside to have dinner. On the way, they run across their strange landlord, Sebastian, who's also a film composer. We then see Sebastian greeting the girls and wishing them a comfortable stay. During dinner, Kate orders the most expensive dishes on purpose to strip Jay of all of his money. Meanwhile, Beth feels like a bad friend for not being there for Kate during her divorce. However, Kate claims that it's fine and that she understands her responsibilities with the new baby. When Kate asks Beth how her marriage is going, she responds that it's going through a difficult phase and they haven't slept together in a year. Kate suggests they seek a divorce if she's not happy, but Beth believes it's too extreme to take that decision just yet. Moments later, Kate gets into an argument with someone on the phone. Just then, the waiter informs them that their credit card has been denied, implying that Jay has finally figured out her plan. Now, Beth offers to split the bill, but Kate refuses, claiming she doesn't want to bother her. Following that, they drive to a club in Zane's taxi. While on the way, Zane strikes up a conversation with Beth and reveals that he's from Syria and has escaped his war-torn homeland. Beth also reveals that she's American and has lived in London for the past 15 years. Not long after, the girls enter a club and sit with two attractive men. Kate urges her friend to sleep with them, but Beth refuses since she's married. However, Kate believes that Beth can be free for one night and Rob doesn't need to know about this encounter. Now, the two men offer the girls some drinks, and the last thing Beth remembers is Kate inviting the men back to their apartment. The next morning, Beth awakens with a horrible hangover and a hazy recollection of last night. However, Kate isn't at the apartment, and she's not answering her phone. On top of that, Beth is horrified when she notices broken glass and blood on the floor. Around noon, she calls Rob to express her worries, and Rob informs her that Kate's probably out on her own and that she shouldn't be anxious. After that, Beth asks Sebastian if he's seen Kate but he claims he hasn't. And to make matters worse, he tells her that parties are not permitted and that he's going to charge her extra for the two men that stayed last night. Beth then goes to the police station to file a missing persons report. However, the officer in charge, Pavic, refuses to file a case and requests Beth to wait for 24 hours. Having no other option, Beth calls Zane and explains the situation. The two then return to the club from the previous night and inquire with the bartender. It's revealed that the two men from last night are escorts who often visit the club and entertain tourists. The following day, after some investigation, Zane and Beth manage to find out about the escorts and they arrange a meeting with them. While waiting for the men, Beth tells Zane about her friendship with Kate and how she met Rob through her. She then inquires about Zane's family and he admits that he had a wife who died in the Syrian war. Moments after, the two escorts arrive, but when they see Beth, they quickly run away from there. Immediately, Zane chases them down and eventually captures one of the escorts. The man eventually admits that they just stayed at their apartment until 3 a.m., and when Kate was distracted, they grabbed her belongings and fled. However, the escorts insist they didn't drug or hurt her in any way. Afterwards, Zane and Beth head to the pawn shop to get back Kate's stolen bag and phone. When Beth checks Kate's cell phone, she finds that she's missed calls, but she's unable to unlock her phone. Later, Beth decides to go to the police station to give this information, but Zane asks her not to disclose his name because he could be deported. This time, a female officer named Kovac files Beth's report and she chastises Pavic for failing to do his job. Beth doesn't tell them about the phone, but she does tell them about the bag and the names of the escorts. Kovac wonders if Beth was mistreated, so she orders a medical checkup for her, with the results anticipated within 24 hours. Upon returning from the hospital, Beth contacts Kate's ex-husband, Jay, and informs him of the situation. However, Jay isn't worried since he thinks Kate is dramatic and only wants attention. He admits that he hasn't spoken to Kate in months and that all communication must go through their attorneys. This makes Beth wonder with whom Kate was arguing during dinner. Now, when Beth returns to her apartment, she discovers Sebastian collecting their belongings because it's past checkout time and the new tenants are on their way. When she admits that Kate's still missing and she isn't leaving now, Sebastian gives her a discounted room on the ground floor of his house. Around midnight, Beth awakens to the sound of the music being played by Sebastian. As she walks upstairs, Sebastian invites her to dinner, 
but Beth declines and says she'll go outside. Later on her way to dinner with Zane, Rob arrives unexpectedly, having left their kid with a babysitter. He's clearly disturbed by Zane's presence, but the driver takes no offense and leaves. However, Beth feels angry about the whole situation and begins crying, so Rob apologizes and calms her, and asks her the story of what really happened. Moments after, a call from the police interrupts their conversation, and it's revealed that Kate's been found dead in the sea. When they go to the crime scene, Beth gets overwhelmed with sorrow after recognizing the body of her best friend. The next morning, Rob expresses regret for not being friendlier to Kate since he found her annoying. He also considers staying longer, but Beth wants him to return to London to care for their daughter. In the next scene, Pavic picks up Beth and verifies that Kate was murdered. However, since Kate was intimate with numerous guys before her death, they can't be sure if it was consensual or mistreatment. On the way to the station, Beth requests that Pavic take her to the morgue to see her friend for the last time. Later, after Pavic leaves to give her some privacy, Beth holds Kate's phone over her face to unlock it. On her way out, she enters the bathroom, where she notices many calls from someone named Handyman. But when she dials the phone, it goes to Rob's voicemail, and she scrolls through text conversations to learn that Kate and her husband were having an affair. Later in the interrogation room, Kovac reveals that the autopsy indicated Kate had ketamine and cocaine in her system, and Beth's checkup also revealed ketamine, implying that they were drugged. Kovac asks Beth one more time if there's anything she hasn't told them, but she answers no. Later, as Pavic drives Beth to her place, he tells her that they'll require her passport until they verify the entire story. Next, Beth calls Jay and informs him about Kate's affair with her husband, but it turns out that Jay was aware of it, and since Beth was pregnant at the time, he chose to remain quiet about it. After that, she goes to meet Zane for lunch and tells him everything. After hearing the story, Zane speculates that Kate may have slipped something into her own drink so that she would have slept with another man, prompting Rob to leave her. When Beth gets back to her apartment, she calls Rob angrily to confront him about the affair. Rob initially denies the claim, but after a few more details, he gives in and apologizes to his wife. Now, Rob begs her to return home, but Beth says she can't do it because the police have her passport and they'll have all the evidence they need to prosecute her if they find out about the affair. The following day, Beth is arrested and questioned about her relationship with Zane. The cops inform her that Zane's a member of an Albanian gang engaged in a variety of illicit crimes, including human trafficking. The authorities believe Zane murdered Kate on Beth's orders because of her and Rob's affair. Later, Beth's lawyer arrives and hands her a car instructing her to call her before saying or doing anything else. When Beth goes to her room, she finds Zane waiting for her, so she confronts him with the police allegations. Zane reveals that he once helped the son of an Albanian mob boss who later helped him in fleeing the country and getting a visa in Croatia. After he leaves, Beth wonders how the cops learned about the affair and recalls Pavic giving Sebastian his card. Moments later, she discovers a hidden camera in her mirror and begins to snoop around. However, Sebastian interrupts her in the process and while he's distracted, she steals a key from his ring. Later, when he leaves, Beth enters his recording studio and sees cameras in every room where he's spying on the guests. Through the hidden cameras, Beth discovers that the two escorts did come to their apartment. They put Beth to bed because she'd passed out, and then they have some fun with Kate. When Kate goes to take a shower, the two steal her belongings and flee. She then gets in a taxi and follows them. Sometime later, Kate returns home in a different vehicle while venting her rage at someone. While Beth writes down the license plate number, Sebastian suddenly shows up at the house. Now, Beth quickly slams the door in his face to flee the premises and accuses him of being a pervert. Sebastian explains that the video system is for security reasons because people do bad things when renting, but Beth doesn't believe him. At this point, Sebastian starts deleting the videos from his phone, but Beth needs the footage to prove her innocence, so they fight over it before Sebastian falls and injures himself. She then snatches the keys from him and rushes while calling Zane. Then Zane drives her to the taxi station, where they locate the driver who picked up Kate. But after a little inquiry, the driver claims that he took Kate to the police station, where she filed a report regarding the male escorts who stole her stuff. Beth can't understand why the police wouldn't tell her about this when she first reported Kate missing. Just then, the cops arrive to arrest Beth, and she notices that Officer Pavic is driving the same car she saw drop off Kate in the footage. Finally, Beth concludes that Pavic is the one who murdered Kate and runs away from there. Sometime later, Pavic eventually catches up with Beth on a rooftop. Beth accuses him of murdering her best friend, but Pavic claims Kate was a slut and then tries to attack her. The two struggle for a while, and soon Pavic loses his footing and falls to his death. Meanwhile, Kovac observes this, and later she formally apologizes to Beth for not believing in her. The cops also discover video evidence that Pavic drove Kate home. 
They even find a video of a man beating Kate on the walkway before pushing her into the water. The police assume that maybe Kate turned down Pavic's advances and he killed her as a result. It turns out that Pavic had previously been accused of sexual misconduct, but the allegations were ultimately withdrawn against him. Having been cleared of all charges, Beth goes back to her life in London. The scene then shifts to days later, when Beth is separated from Rob and she drops off their baby at his apartment. However, when she goes to get her car keys from Rob's coat pocket, she discovers a bead from a necklace she gave Kate in Croatia. At that moment, Beth realizes that Rob could only have had that bead if he met Kate while they were in Croatia. Next, Beth excuses herself to use the restroom and quickly calls Kovac. She tells the officer that Pavic didn't murder Kate, but before she can say anything else, Rob knocks on the bathroom door. Immediately, Beth comes out and accuses him of killing her friend. But Rob tries to justify himself by claiming that it was an accident. He said he arrived in Croatia because Kate threatened to tell Beth about the affair. They were arguing on the boardwalk when he accidentally knocked her into the river, where Kate ended up hitting her head on a boulder to her unfortunate death. We see in a flashback that Kate wanted to end the hidden relationship with Rob because she regretted it. She decided to tell Beth the truth, which caused Rob to attack her. As a result, Kate tumbled into the rocks, hurting her head, and then fell into the sea. Even though Rob noticed she was still alive, he let her drown in the water. In the present, Rob begs Beth not to tell the cops because the matter's been closed. However, it's too late because Beth has been on the call with Kovac the entire time who heard everything. Now, Rob tries to take the phone from her angrily, but Beth hits him and grabs her baby. Finally, the film concludes with Beth fleeing the house with the baby as police cars arrive to arrest Rob. 